Russian President Vladimir Putin says his troops now control most of Mariupol, except for a steel plant there, where the last Ukrainian fighters are still holed up in tunnels. In a meeting with his defense minister, Putin claimed victory in Mariupol and promised it would be liberated soon, but he still hasn't been able to capture the Azovstal steel plant there, although he's bombed it relentlessly. As many as 2,000 Ukrainian soldiers and another 1,000 civilians are sheltering in underground bunkers there. They will not give up. Putin says he will not risk sending his troops into those tunnels. Instead, he told his military to isolate the area so that, in his words, not even a fly gets through. The Russians may be hoping the Ukrainians run out of food and ammunition. Yesterday, Russia tested a new kind of intercontinental ballistic missile called a Sarmat. NATO calls it the Satan II missile. Putin promises it can overcome any defense system. He says it will make Western countries think twice before they threaten Russia. But the Pentagon says the missile does not pose a threat to the West or its allies. In eastern Ukraine, where Russia has started its new ground offensive, people are adapting to constant attacks. Russia is hoping to make big gains by May 9th. It's a holiday called Victory Day, which celebrates the country's role in winning World War II. In less than an hour, President Biden will announce a new military aid package for Ukraine. He plans to send $800 million worth of heavy artillery and ammunition, which is something Ukrainian fighters need badly. Since the invasion, uh, uh, we have helped deliver, not just from our stocks, but from stocks of other nations, more than 50 million rounds of small arms ammunition of various calibers. 50 million. Um, and that's the kind of stuff that the Ukrainians are literally using every single day. This morning, Ukrainian President Zelensky met with the prime ministers of Spain and Denmark in Kyiv. World leaders are now able to travel safely to the Ukrainian capital because the Russians have retreated from the area. Spain says it will reopen its embassy in Kyiv soon.